All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's weekly cryptic crossword. Uh, set this week by Pascal. Let's see what Pascal has for us. Teased terribly for being stayed. So I think it's going to be an anagram of teased, and it's going to mean stayed. All right, I can see we have sedate. That's a good start. Uh, notice servant making gradual escape. Ooh, uh, I'm thinking notice will be C. And then is it a servant, four letter servant, maid? But making gradual escape. Um, yeah, I don't get that one. How about take car through flooded river? Uh, let's see. Five letters beginning with D. Ah, I think it's simply a hidden clue. Within flooded river, we have drive, which would be to take your car. A holiday maker, beginning with T, could it be a tourist? Is one having minor accident? Maybe. Um, yes, yeah, so I don't think it's tourist. Well, one can be I. But uh, is and is one no, having... I'm wondering if it could be a tripper. I mean, I know Day Tripper, and we all know the Beatles song, but could I, you know, that sounds like a minor accident, a tripper. I'm not, um, <laughs> I'm not very confident in that. It seems a little loose, but uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard tripper on its own. Uh, how about EastEnders bald and stuffy? Well, when we see EastEnder or Cockney, you have to think of a word with an H and then drop the H. So bald would be hairless, and without the H is airless or stuffy. All right, a uh, philosopher ill-disposed to realist. Ooh. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's going to be an anagram of to realist, which will be ill-disposed, that is nine letters, and it's going to be the name of a philosopher. Ooh. Um, oh, Aristotle, I think. Aris... Tottle, is that? I think that's how you spell his name. We'll find out. Let's go back to the... Oh, no, let me finish the downs from the top row. Collection of English language held by this writer. So is it going to be a writer? Yeah, or... Could it be a collection? No, I don't see it. All right. A uh, fellow about to protect chum from inflammatory liquid. So I think we're going to put a word for fellow around a word for chum. Uh, and then that's going to mean an inflammatory, what's an inflammatory liquid, some kind of acid or fellow might be man. Chum could be pal, especially with those A's. Yeah, could it be, oh, napalm. Oh, and I was wondering why it was about to protect because we have to turn the man about, turn it backwards, and then it goes around the pal, a napalm inflammatory liquid, of course. The thing, no doubt about it. Well, the in English is the definite article, so I think that one is just simply a 
a cryptic definition, sort of a double maybe definition too, because we do have the on its own, I think would give you the answer. And then a thing, no doubt about it, would be definite article. Uh, pancakes composition. Ah, well, the something's composition would be its makeup. And so the pancake is not the one you eat, but uh, pancake makeup, I think. Uh, so now, oh, um, the servant is a page. And, oh, uh, let's try typing that again. And if you notice servant seepage, but then gradual escape of liquid might be seepage. All right. Helping adult having a flutter. Uh, I think it's... Um, yeah, so I think helping someone is abetting. And an adult, I think, can be abbreviated to A, and having a flutter is betting. There we go. Reprimanded, conservative, gets protected... Uh, conservative can be C, I think Con or Tory. Yeah, I think it's going to mean reprimanded. And probably we're going to put a C for conservative inside a word for protected. Yeah, I'm not sure what that could be reprimanded. Anyway, that would be a D there, I think. How about require theologian to conceal flipping identity? Ah. I don't see... I presume it's going to mean require and then the rest is going to be wordplay. Uh, identity, I think, can be ID. Yeah, but flipping... Yeah, there's nowhere to put DI inside. We do have a D at the end. Well, of course, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, let me remove it. Anyway, I'm still not sure what that is. How about place item of golf equipment in chair? Ah, well, a chair might be or a... It's more like a sofa, isn't it? A settee. But set is to play something, and a T is an item of golf equipment. All right, we're not going to get any more letters for this collection. I think it could be a melange. Oh, this writer, of course, is me. There's E for English, and I think language is la shortened to lang. And they're held by me. Uh, yeah. There's our theologian. How about mark 50% of body passage? No, don't see that. Uh, blesses everyone in new show. Ooh, I think um, everyone would be all. And new show might be an anagram of show. So I'm thinking it's hallows, as in hallowed be thy name. So if you bless everyone, or hmm, yeah, hallows, I suppose, blesses. All right, fellows, embracing male team, coming first. Uh, yes, so I think uh, fellows embracing male is the wordplay. Fellows might be chaps, and they embrace M for male. And the team coming first are the champs. Gathers for prayers. Seems like it's just a straightforward double definition. Of course, it might be prayers. The people doing the praying gathers for 
Yeah. I was thinking amasses, but uh, that's not it. We'll come back to that. Security device getting ordered outside. It creates obstruction. A security device might simply be an alarm. Getting ordered outside. That would make seem like alarm would be in the middle of another word. And it creates an obstruction. And so I think an obstruction is the definition. No. No good having drink in small cup. No good could be NG. Having drink in. Yeah, I'm thinking it might be a small cup, but then again, small can be S, and so... Maybe we put a, a drink inside S and something for a cup. No. Achieve something as cricketer and win Lass's heart. Oh, well. This is a very old, ancient joke. Um, even though I know very little about cricket, even growing up in Ireland, you would hear the joke about bowling a maiden over. I think it's when, as the bowler, you uh, bowl the six balls of an over and the other team doesn't score any runs. That is called a maiden over. Uh, but then to win a lass's heart, you bowl her over. All right, guard, second gate. Uh, so I think the S is going to be for second. Then we need a word for a gate. And it's going to mean guard. Now the question mark tells me that at least part of these definitions are, is a stretch. So maybe it's not a typical gate. The gate is a, some kind of event how many people attended, guard, secure, yeah, I don't see it, position taken by remotest ancestors, <laughs> yeah, I don't see that one either, uh, one making a hit in prison, ooh, um, Oh, I think, I think it's a double definition. The prison could be the slammer. And so if you slam things, you're making a hit, I suppose. A claim, King Charles starting change. Now, King Charles might be CR. Maybe it is a word for a claim. And then the starting change might be a C. Yeah, I don't see that one either. Nine, roughly, occupying accommodation, not strict. I'm thinking nine, roughly, means we're going to anagram nine. And so I think that E is probably part of that anagram. Oh, maybe I-N-N-E. And that's occupying accommodation, so it would be a three-letter accommodation, and it's going to mean not strict. Ooh, so what would that end in? I mean, we might have an N here, and then a E-N-D, maybe? Not strict. Oh, lenient, I think, would be not strict. So now the anagram of nine, oh, it depends where you... No, I think it must be... Yeah, well, either... Yeah, I think it must be... Yeah, it is these, sorry. It can only be that. Uh, and then... Let occupying accommodation. 
Um, that's the only bit that throws me. You can let accommodation either as the person renting it or the one doing the renting, the landlord. But I think you can refer to the place you are letting as a let. Yeah, I took a let in North London or whatever you might say. Uh, so I think that's all right. Retire, relaxing with a thousand in ship. Ooh, so in ship sometimes means you put it, the other letters inside of SS. But I think, no, I think because the, the definition would be retire, which wouldn't end in an S. Oh, unless it's an ESS ending. But no, I'm thinking it's uh, going to be some kind of a ship. A thousand could be a m, a a k, a g, but probably a m. A steamer, of course, would be a ship. Let me uh, put it in and see if I can work out. So there would be our a thousand. Retire, relaxing. Mm. See, I'm thinking rest might be relaxing. No, retire. Yeah, I'm not very confident about that one, but I'll leave it in for now. Unhappy sound got bigger as heard. Ah, uh, yeah, so it's a homophone indicator. It's a sound you make when you're unhappy or maybe when you're sick uh, or ailing or in some way you might groan. And that sounds like got bigger. But I think um, we have to put in the unhappy sound version. All right. Oh, here's our no good. We do have, oh, maybe it's literally no and then G for good. Having drink. Ah, in small cup. It's thinking of goblet, although that's not a small cup. So I think having drink Maybe there's just a three letter word for a drink tea. Um, no, not getting that. I looked at our gathers for prayers. Yes, yeah, steamer, I'm thinking you must be wrong because I don't think we would have an S there. Oh, and in fact, I uh, didn't notice, I'm sure you all did and are wondering, yeah, is he drunk? Why did he uh, write over that E? No, I'm drinking nothing stronger than coffee, uh, but completely missed that E was in the wrong place for steamer. So back to the drawing board with that one. All right, that was our guard second gate. And here's our position. Ooh, um... Ah, it's a hidden clue within remotest ancestors. You see a position taken would be your stance on a certain issue. All right. Of course, it could be literally your position, the way you stand. Um, all right. Top half is looking better than the bottom. Here's our require. Theologian to conceal... Yeah, so I think I need a short theologian. Oh, identity could be name. I'm wondering if we might have name backwards inside of a two-letter 
theologian. Ah, yes, a doctor of divinity. <laughs> yes. Oops. Ah, my goodness, I'm still mistyping. There we go. So the theologian, the doctor of divinity, uh, surrounds name backwards. There we go. And if you demand something, you require it. Oh, all right. So I think I did think that would end in an N. So there we are. Sorry, in a D. All right. Uh, reprimanded. Yeah, I'm trying to make secured work. Secured around a C. But that's not reprimanded. I'm going to pause, go back to my coffee and think about it. I can see that uh, censured, if you're reprimanded, you might be censured. Begins with a C for conservative. And then we have insured. I think in a way that does mean protected. You know, I insured the supplies or the money or something. I protected it. Mm, I'm not 100% convinced, though. Let's try our mark. 50% of body passage. I think it's going to be a word for passage so maybe something for mark and then half of a word for body unless it is a mark of some kind like a uh, not an ampersand but something like that uh, oh a semicolon would be a mark oh yes <laughs> that's exactly it of course 50 percent of something is semi and a, a col a, a passage in the body would be your colon oh my goodness all right so then censured might be right here's our security device getting ordered outside it creates obstruction yeah, let me pause and think about that one. Well, I'm thinking of an obstruction could be a blockage. How would this... Well, oh, of course, a security device would be a lock. But what would B-A-G-E be ordered outside? No, I can't... Um, I can't justify that. Oh, a blockade? Yes, then has bayed. Yes, if you're um, bayed to do something, or it's like um, forbidden, I think, comes from the same root. I forbade it. Um, yes, yeah, so I think that is it. Is, it. is the past tense of bide? Not exactly sure. I think it's a word that really hasn't survived into English, maybe other than some very specific phrases. All right. Anyway, so now our guard second gate. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, I, I think that question mark is probably doing a lot of work here. Senors, uh, no guard. Well, I'm fairly sure. Yeah, I will just check. Hallows is right. Semicolon, of course, is right. Slammer is right. All right, I'm going to pause. Think about what vowel is going to come between the S and the N. Ah, okay, I got as far as E and realized, of course, a sentry is a guard and a gate might be an entry. So actually, I, I'm not sure the question mark is even needed there. But uh, anyway, so now a claim. Oh, I wonder if it could be credit. 
if you acclaim somebody, you credit them. CR for King Charles. And then, yeah, he starts. And then a word for change, to edit, would be to change. Yeah, I think that works. So now gathers for prayers. Um, collects. So, oh, yeah, I think I really only know the the meaning as a prayer from probably reading some books like uh, P. G. Woodhouse, where maybe there's a character who's a vicar or something, and there's something about the second collect. So it must be some kind of a prayer, but anyway, gathers, I think, would definitely be collects. So now our retire, relaxing with a thousand in ship. Yeah, I don't, still don't see it. I am, though, thinking it probably is a ship. Yeah, uh, let me pause. All right, I did have to resort to wordplays.com. I'm glad I did. I don't think I would have thought of the word, even though I think we have seen it in the crossword before, but it's a trireme, an ancient Greek galley. And so relaxing here is an anagram indicator for the word retire. But then you have to add an A. Oh no, uh, so you have to add an M for a thousand. So the A is actually superfluous, but retire plus M, anagram all of that. All right, so now are no good. Oh, um, I th oh, that's funny. I mentioned noggin the nog earlier, but I think a noggin is a small a small drink anyway the drink here is gin let me pause and look up noggin yes a noggin is a small cup um its name may come from nog for ale and it later became a quarter of a pint or a gill measurement uh, and noggin the nog i'm just checking here it ran from 1959 until 1965 with a brief comeback in the 80s and most of the episodes were in black and white but there were six in color running time of 10 minutes yeah didn't they uh, show those before the news on the bbc i always enjoyed them as a small child and then of course had no interest in the news all right, well, uh, well, let me do the check all, which, of course, we can do with the cryptic. Looks like everything is still there, and I think I finally came to understand everything. But if I got anything wrong, please let me know or tell me what was your favorite animated series before the news on the BBC. Anyway, thank you as always for watching and have a wonderful day and a wonderful week.